It's the next day in town, and I'm going to upgrade a few items, expand uh, some of my land, and increase the capacity in my town. Now, as you can see, my personal train is about to be upgraded to a capacity of four. Or should I do the maintenance time? Mm, no, I'm going to increase the capacity. It's much better. Now, the resources for this uh, are a big drain. Uh, you really need a lot of bars to upgrade your personal train. Later, if you look in the description, I'll give you a good indication of what's needed for each upgrade. Well, I need a lot for the next one. Okay, I could do my station. Hmm, should I do that now or should I do that later? I choices, choices, choices. Current capacity is 6. If I upgrade it, I can have 7 visitors. But, do I have enough space in my town? Actually, yes I do. So I'm going to do it. Now later, I will need to upgrade my town hall though. Because it does get tight. Okay, I got six slots there, six there, uh, four there. Hmm, nope, don't have the resources for that one. Ah, uh, diner's got five. Yay, okay, I can upgrade the diner. Mm, let's go for it. Beautiful. Look at the sparkle and shine on that. Let's have a look inside and see the number of seats I have. Okay, six places done now. That's another one of my goals achieved. Not enough resources for the spa yet. Looks like I need to collect more gifts from my visitors. Not enough resources for the town hall. Hmm. Okay, let's jump ahead then. Come on, give me the resources I need for my upgrades. Many hours to go for that lot. Okay, jumping ahead again. Uh, the old train's pulling into town with uh, my new carriage attached to the back. Ah, I've ran out of mayonnaise. 72 diamonds? You must be joking me. There's no way I'm going to spend that amount of diamonds just for a jar of mayonnaise. Looks like I'm going to have to run back to the farm and then uh, make me some mayonnaise. Thankfully, mayonnaise doesn't take that much time to make. Can you deal with the visitors first of all, get them all out the way? Now I'm short of time today, so I will be sending away quite a few people. Especially those for the B&B. &B. Now the choice is yours when it comes to visitors. You can keep them, send them to the buildings, use your resources, uh, then collect the gifts, or you can send them away. Uh, sending away can be done at any stage. Uh, it's your choice. You can send them to buildings, uh, finish one building, send them away, send them to two, finish those, and send them away. Uh, or let them finish all the buildings and then collect your gift. But remember, as soon as you send them away, it doesn't matter how many buildings they've done, you won't receive those prezzies. Okay, 15 minutes to make a mayonnaise. Let's jump to my town, or farm, sorry, uh, and then see uh, how 
how soon I can make it. Oh dear. Uh, my production line is basically full up. And I don't have the resources to make mayonnaise. So let's think about this. Sh should I keep him or send him away? Now, looking at him here, I don't know what he has left to do, so jumping to the town hall. Okay, he's done two buildings and he's just got the grocery to do. Now, okay, I'm short of time, but I'm in no rush, so he can just wait there, uh, considering he doesn't take long to finish in the grocery store. Okay, let's jump ahead. Now I have the mayonnaise done. A hand drill. I'm not going to complain about that. Looks like the two local boys have finished their time in the spa and now they're off to have something to eat. Wow, they have rich appetites. Sweet tooths. I'd hate to see their dentist bill. Okay, I had someone come to my town and pick up a visitor, so thank you very much for the reputation points. Uh, ah, okay, let's go to my son's town and see if he has anybody. Now I can pick up four people and there's three waiting, so let's just take them all. Jumping back to my town, you don't have to wait for them to get on the train. But you do have to wait for them to get off. Ah, looks like I can expand the beach area. Okay, off to the diner she goes, followed closely by Nicole, and Alberto's off to the grocery. Strawberries? Ooh, wonder what his plans are tonight. Pies for the ladies? Not such a healthy option, my dears. Now, I don't have the resources to expand all the areas on the beach, but I do want to do one of them today. So, I think I'm going to choose this large section here, because I have those resources. Okay, press that button. And up come the butterflies. I wonder if they ever change the colours. Okay, down come those trees. Bang go those rocks, but I can't do the last one, so I need more resources there. Okay, jumping to this section here, I scroll down and I'm looking for the bonfire. Nice little fire on the beach, perfect touch. This scrolling down is so slow, so I'm so glad in the latest update that they've changed the way we do this. It's much faster. Come on, keep going, almost there. Just a few more to go. Don't give up. Keep going. Okay, there's the campfire. I have one in stock, so I don't have to buy this one again. Perfect. Now I just need somewhere to sit down on the beach, so I think a little picnic table for the moment. Anything else? No, nothing else. Let's just move that table because I don't like the way it looks.
I think when the summer upgrade comes along, I will change this table for picnic mat. That looks much better. I hope I can save the resources for when I get uh, higher up in the reputation level because I need space on that beach for the beach cafe. Okay, I maxed out my capacity on the town there with visitors. Uh, thankfully, I can collect gifts and uh, knock all of those people off my capacity total. I really do need to upgrade that town hall some more. So I'm hoping I got enough resources with these people to do that. Send him away. I wonder what these people actually say when they're walking around the town or when they're in the buildings. Be interesting to hear voices. I know we have the little speech bubbles every now and then, but they're kind of standard. Maybe that's a possible option for Supercell in the future. They can make a little contest asking uh, us gamers what we would like to add to the speech bubbles. In the past they did the same for the gift cards and uh, many many people came up with some great messages and it makes it much more interesting reading those. So let's do the same with the speech bubbles. For example I just sent her away. We could have a begging message. Please don't send me away. I want to stay. Your town is so cool. Maybe his message could be, can you send me to the spa first? Wow, those young ladies are resource hogs. I think this is the only thing I don't like about the town, and that's the resources it needs to do these visitors. Because of the resources they need, uh, if you're not in a strong neighborhood, uh, like myself, I've just got a family one, uh, then it's very difficult to get the resources. You can use Tom, but uh, that takes a lot of diamonds. You can join a Facebook group and uh, hopefully you can uh, trade with other people. Or you can uh, increase your barn capacity and just make many, many items and uh, keep your barn full up. That's one of the methods I'm using at the moment, but uh, my barn capacity is 2,000, and uh, I've got a lot of resources in there. Especially considering my next goal is to uh, upgrade uh, the personal train. That uses a lot of bars.
And as I found out, once you get to a certain level, you can't upgrade past that level until you reach the next level. So it means uh, those bars are sitting in your barn for a long time until you upgrade. Now, to get to level 11 on reputation points, I need to reach 3,228. I'm on 2,213, so I don't think that will take me too long. Okay, here we go. I'm going to upgrade my town hall. Doesn't she look beautiful? But what's my capacity now? Okay, I'm up to 21 visitors now. Uh, that gives me a better balance. 